Welcome to an Unfiltered Gamer live stream playthrough. I'm Callie here with my friends Alicia, Caleb, and Michael on the computer. And we have a special guest tonight, Avon, who is showing off his game Prosperity, which we will play tonight with four players. Um, Avon is the designer and, I mean, you're the game designer and also the visual designer of the game. Correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Prosperity is an artisanal tea fulfillment game for um, how many players again? Uh, to three to six. Three to six players. And it is available for purchase on Avon's website, which is? Uh, www.prosperitygame.com Great. Um, so Avon's going to teach us a little bit quickly how to play and we'll get into a top-down view so you can see all the games and the beautiful recycled components. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as well as the upgrade which will be available soon for the tokens. So we'll show those off in just a second here. Nice. Cool. Well, hi everybody. Um, Y'all may know me from the Kickstarter campaign, uh, Evan Gonzalez. And uh, I'm here to teach everybody here at this table how to play Prosperity. We've got two new players here. So we're yeah. very quickly going to run things down for y'all because uh, most of us in this room, uh, this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> um, but this is our first rodeo with the finished components. Uh, so really excited uh, just at the tail end of fulfilling all the Kickstarter orders. And uh, yeah, we're starting to open up the website for people to buy the regular edition right over here. Yep. Um, so you can see the full <laughs> setup already here. Yep. There's the top down on. <laughs> so um, let's just go ahead and dive right into it, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to Prosperity. In Prosperity, you uh, run an artisanal tea shop. And your goal is to be the most prestigious artisanal tea shop in the entire neighborhood. Uh, how do you do that? You do that by collecting ingredient cards. So you can use those ingredient cards to fulfill orders. We got two types of orders. We got standard orders, which is like your regular teas. Uh, and then we have your premium orders right down there, which score you a lot more points, but require a lot more specific and highly specialized teas to do it. Um, so to start, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I've already given everybody the rundown here. So we're just gonna set everybody up. Um, for first player, uh, I got two choices for y'all. When's the last time anybody had a cup of tea at this table? Uh, this morning would be me. <laughs> this morning. It's been a while, like a week. Michael yeah. just, just drank some, so like if Michael were playing, he would be first. Yes. Um, but Kelly, it looks like you're going to be the first player. So All we're going right. to hand you the first player teapot. Ooh, little teapot. And we're going to hand you the active player teacup. Oh. And this is going to pass around the table. Yes, we got to do pinkies, pinkies up, up whenever we pass the teacup. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to go ahead and start it with some resources. So, okay, great. Um, in this game, we need money to buy ingredients and mm -hmm. do things. Um, you're going to start with uh, two coins as a first player. Thank you. Right over there. And you are uh, going to get two ingredients to start. This is a little different than what's in the manual because we've been tweaking it since uh, Kickstarter. So I just select from Correct. what's available on top of the deck. Correct. These are okay. your ingredient decks right over here. So go ahead and choose your two ingredients. All right, I'll go for this one. Mm, some gyokuro. Oh, and then that one looks pretty, pretty <laughs> good as well. And essentia. All right. All right. Oh boy. So we have a, a rare one that popped up after that. Ah. The second player, <laughs> um, second player is going to get uh, but one coin. Okay. But um, they're going to get. Two, uh, three cards. Oh, wow. Three cards? Yes. <laughs> Sounds tasty. I'm going to take this one. I knew it. Um, do I want that one, too? Ooh. I guess I'll take that one, too. <laughs> and then A lot I'll of green tea at the one. table. All right. Yep. Yep. We all like green tea. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, third player, uh, you're going to get three coins. Wow. And two cards. Nice. <clears throat> Y'all do the Sencha. And, um, let's see. Hmm. We'll go ahead Pop and you. do yeah. this one. So, yeah. There you go. Fantastic. And as the last player, uh, I am also going to get but one coin. 
but I'm going to get four cards to make up for me being Ooh, last. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to grab some Ceylon, and I'm going to grab another Ceylon. I'm going to grab some Floral. Yeah. And I'm going to grab some Spice. And this is my starting hand right over here. Okay. So we are now ready to begin the game. Um, Cal, go ahead and start us off. All right. So on my turn, I can start by sourcing. So, yeah. But I don't have enough money to get three cards. So I think I will just be able to get either one card or I could skip that and just get two coins and Correct. do some marketing. Correct. Uh, and just so everybody knows, uh, in the turn, while Kelly makes her decision, uh, there are two phases to your turn. There's sourcing, which is when you acquire ingredients and spend money. Um, and then there's fulfillment, when you actually turn those ingredients in to fulfill orders and either sell them immediately for money or keep them and display them in your shop window for prestige. And at the end of the game, it's all about who has the most prestige uh, as a tea shop. <laughs> and money does convert to prestige at the end of the game at a rate of five coins to one prestige. So it's not super efficient, but it does get you something. All right. So I think I will just get one card for free. Great. And Jeff. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes the game happens like that. There's a little, there's a little bit of RNG. <laughs> and then fulfill orders. I don't have anything over here to fulfill, but... Wait, well, maybe. Yeah, so... Actually... Remember, there's two ways to fulfill yeah. an order. You can either do it all by yourself, mm -hmm. but uh, in the world of tea, ingredients are a little tight and money is uh, hard to come by, so you're probably going to need to ask for help. You can do a co-op fulfillment by asking every, anybody for a specific ingredient that's sitting in front of them. Yes. And, Avon, would you happen to have a floral ingredient <laughs> that I could utilize for this jasmine dragon? Well, <laughs> that might have been my plan the entire time <laughs> as the last player. So I'm going to say yes. Callie right. gets to use this ingredient immediately. Um, Callie also didn't have to tell me exactly what she oh, was doing okay. in well, a real game. Yeah. But I did playing. have to specifically ask for this ingredient. Correct. So. Um, and I get a favor token. Favor tokens are good for one wild ingredient in the future. Mm -hmm. Or if I hang on to it until the end of the game and don't use it, it's one prestige point. So I'm going to fulfill the order. I have two senches and a floral. Correct. I'm going to place these in their respective discard pile and grab this. And I'm actually going to turn it. I need money, so I'm going to turn it in for money. Great. So, so let's get make right it easy. There. Take a three and Thank a one. You. Thank you. And then y'all may notice here that we're playing with metal coins. Uh, these are 100% aluminum, so they're 100% recyclable. And... Um, they are going to be $15 on the website when we're done fulfilling Kickstarter. So we want to make sure a everybody... That's cool upgrade pack, basically. Correct. It's 45 aluminum coins. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, and now I need to pass the teacup over. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pinky's up. <laughs> I'm going to take this. <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, why not? That gives you a lot of power. And that would be it, so here you go. Oh, wait, so are you not going to fulfill an order, or are you going to try to fulfill an order? No, I cannot. Um, you cannot, you, or would you like to try to figure it out? You could try to figure out an evergreen order as yeah. well. So as a reminder, you can turn in evergreen orders. Um, and there are... So, so the audience knows, and so you remember. <laughs> there are... Uh, any three ingredients of the same suit, so green, mm -hmm. black, or tizan, flavors don't count, um, you get one star for every card that you turn in. So if you turn in five stars worth of cards, you get five coins. Um, any identical pair gets you three coins straight up for an identical pair. If you turn in one flavor and any other ingredient, it's the same as turning in a set of three. So right now, pro tip, if you yeah. turned in, if you just needed money for your next turn, mm -hmm. citrus and gyokuro together would be worth $4. Oh, okay. Or for money. Sorry, we don't use dollars in this game. It's just <laughs> money. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll do that. So this is $4? Yep. It's an evergreen order. So go ahead and get you four coins. And that doesn't count as filling an order for the turn. Okay. So... 
the marketplace is going to get upset and someone is going to walk away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, which one should I get rid of? Let's it, get rid of that one. You get rid of red bush. Yeah. It's going to walk away, and then we're going to immediately put a new one out. And now Ooh. pass the teacup and say. Pinkies up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Um. <laughs> Wow. But first, you're going to source your ingredients. Do you want to spend all your coins? <laughs> hmm. Do it. Just get a bunch of ingredients, and everyone will need you <laughs> for uh, fulfilling orders. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that worth it, though? That mm -hmm. is the decision to make. That yes, it's part of true. part of why we give the middle seat <laughs> three coins because yeah. a lot of stuff has had an opportunity to happen by now. <laughs> okay, um, but it's also most of a point. <laughs> so. Hmm. No, I'm gonna keep the money. Okay. I'll just take one card. Mm -hmm. I'll go for the spice. Oh, interesting choice. Um, a lot of orders need spice, so mm -hmm. maybe yeah. it's, it's not there. a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and then after, after so, I source, mm -hmm. it goes to fulfill. To fulfill. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You can also skip fulfillment. Mm -hmm. But then one of the orders would have to go. Correct. One of the orders would have to go. Okay. I'll skip fulfillment for right now. Okay. Who's walking away? <laughs> okay. One of these customers is getting real impatient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll just get rid of that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A new one comes out. So... Pass the teacup Pinkies and say, up. that's right, <laughs> pinkies up. All right, so now we're back at me, the last seat player. I have only got one coin, so I can't really buy any. I can't mm -hmm. overspend. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm feeling, actually feeling pretty good about snagging this Darjeeling. Ooh, so I'm just going to yeah. take this for free. And I'm going to ask, what's at the table? Hmm. I'm actually just going to turn in both of my Ceylon mm -hmm. as an evergreen order. So we're going to put these over here. Take three coins. Because I feel pretty good. I have a favorite token. I'm not doing too bad. And then one of these... Customers is going to walk, get up and walk away. And uh, I think this chai, oh, yeah, the relaxation has been, I see a lot of green on the table. We'll do a little bit of a, <laughs> it's not hate drafting. <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> and pinkies up. Pinkies up. All right. I have money to spend. And of course, there's no more rare ingredients, but. I'm going to go ahead and spend five coins All right. to get uh, four cards. Four cards, yes. I like it. I'm going to get the citrus here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get another one of these. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and get Ceylon. All right. Oh, and there's another one. Hmm. Wait, what am I going for? And... Uh, mm, we'll go, I'll go ahead and get another one of these. Another Ceylon? Yeah. All right. Okay. This way, I can go ahead and turn these in to Ceylon. Mm-hmm. 
to Mutual fulfill an coins. evergreen order for mm -hmm. three coins. Yeah. There you go. Get some money. Thanks. And then the order that will walk away is uh, this one. English breakfast. Mm, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have herbal bouquet yeah. on. And Pinky's up. <laughs> okay. I have five dollars that I just mm -hmm. <laughs> And I can get four cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. Mm -hmm. Dang it. And this one. <laughs> <laughs> so She's digging through the deck. Oh. Oh my oh, goodness! Yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. How many now, cards are you holding? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, you're under seven. You're good. <laughs> now I can turn these in for that one. That's right. That was a good gamble. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so what would you like to first turn in your ingredients? Yeah. So let's go ahead and put those in the discard piles. And would you like the money or the prestige? I would like the prestige. Excellent. So put it in, put it in your shop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it here. There we go. All right. And are you going to try to fill any more orders or are you no, done? That is it. All right. Take the teacup and say. Pinky's up. <laughs> That was a that was a very yeah. strong turn. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Alicia's leading wow. the game to no one's surprise. It's definitely not a surprise. That's for sure. Um, I'm not gonna spend any money. I'm gonna just take one card. It'll be this peppermint. All right. Ah. You gotta take the risk. <laughs> And uh, I'll fulfill an order by turning in the peppermint and the spice for the holiday cheer. Excellent. Okay, you going to turn it in for money or prestige? Yeah. I'll just take the prestige for right now. I'm just get some quick points on the board. <laughs> All right. Is that the only order you're going to fill? Or are you going to try for anything else? Um, no, that's it. Pinky's okay. up. Pinky's up. All right. <laughs> it's a very quick round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm sitting on... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna spend three coins. Take three cards. And do this. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Two. Actually, not turning out how I would hope. <laughs> Weirdly you enough. That? Weirdly Ceylon enough. Ceylon or something? Oh, I was definitely aiming for a Ceylon. Um, Keep going. <laughs> but I'm like, that's how I drew, I drew three, two. Yeah. I've got one more. So now... I think we're going to take uh, this peppermint. Well, oh. that didn't quite track how I wanted it to. So you've got a lot of stars there. I, I sure do. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get some of my money back. Actually, hold on. Gazin, hey, yeah. Callie. Yes. May I have your citrus? Ooh. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Excellent. Glad we could do business. Thank you very That's much. Your favorite token? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this favorite token in for this lap sang over here. Ah. Wow. Oh, shoot. I made a mistake. You I don't, don't have Ceylon. Ceylon. Mm. Got bit by my own game. <laughs> I screwed up. I'm sorry, everybody. Let's rewind so, that one more time. Boo -boo. Can you take that? No. Okay. I cannot take that. No. So there. Be careful, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I do this when I play any game, not just my own. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Spice and Darjeeling and turn it in for four coins. Mm -hmm. And just fill an evergreen order so I can get some more liquidity. So not bad. I still netted a coin. And Kelly, pinky's up. Thank you. All right. I got three coins to spend <laughs> for three cards. I have 
no idea what I'm going after. <laughs> some ingredients that are not really on the board very mm -hmm. much. But, uh, well, okay. Yeah, I'll take one. And then two. Mm -hmm. and, yes, that's what I need. Three. Okay. Excellent. I have six cards. I have spice, sencha, yogoro, and citrus for this Ooh, big Re idea. Reginald HG Muse. Yeah. Mewberry Morning. Hmm. All right. That's some of the crossover cards from our other game. <laughs> and I think I'll keep it for some prestige. Excellent. Get on the Get board. On, yeah. Right here. And just so if anyone's keeping track, we got three points over there, three points over there, two points over here, uh -huh. and one point over there. All right, and off to Alicia. Pinky's up. Oh, got to fill the marketplace. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay, I'm going to get the chamomile. And now I just I have this and this for the herbal banquet. Excellent. Uh, for money or prestige? I'm going to take the prestige. <laughs> All right. So there you are. Another point on the board for you. Okay, that's it. All right, pick these up. Quick, pick nice, up. quick and easy turn. <laughs> easy point. <Yep. laughs> All right. Testament how simple the game is to, to play, to learn, and, and get playing. Mm-hmm. I tried to make it so that it was very approachable yes. uh, for I a wide that. audience. Like mm -hmm. we even did all the child testing and stuff. So it is approved for kids <laughs> as young as nine. Um, nice. But there's still a lot to think about. You can see even. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, that's even the designer part. of this game sometimes misses something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll just spend the three coins now get to three get cards. three cards. All right. What do you, what would you like? <laughs> I can give you cards if you'd like. I'll take a, I'll take a peppermint. Mm -hmm. I'll take another peppermint. <laughs> All right. Um, Not a bad choice. And then, ooh, <clears throat> let's see. I'll go ahead and. I'll take. I'll just take the floral. There you go. Right on. Ooh, um, green. <laughs> mm, mm, there's that other card we've been looking for the whole game. Yeah, I dug for it last time. <laughs> <laughs> and this gets into an interesting bit of like card counting. There is definitely a very strict number Amount to each of, deck. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so Once there's usually... the decks run out, do we reshuffle or not? Yes, you okay. do reshuffle the decks. The world will never run out of tea ingredients. <laughs> but we may run out of customers that want to buy tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. Never! <laughs> I like to think of this as like a month in the life oh, of a tea shop. Or everything, yeah, like even a day. Okay, when you close, no one's going to be around yeah. to buy tea. Or, yeah, or a really busy day at a tea shop <laughs> yeah. where you're just like, oh gosh. <laughs> Okay. Um, Remember, I, you can use other people's ingredients, too, mm -hmm. if you ask them. As long as you actually pay attention to the marketplace. <laughs> Make sure you Unlike some the person order. at the board. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think... Hmm. Yeah, sometimes the short. common ingredients, even though you want to use them for the evergreen orders... They're necessary for the main orders, too. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason they're common. They're used in a lot of stuff. And that even tracks back to, like, just the way people blend tea in general. Because I worked mm -hmm. with a chef, the one that did all the teas for the Kickstarter project, um, to make sure that all the recipes were, like, actually usable. usable. <laughs> um, obviously, we can't tell you portions because <laughs> then the game would be overly complicated. Yeah. But if you picked up one of these cards and was like, hmm, I wonder how this would taste together. You could... You could blend your own. Mm -hmm. You could, in theory, <laughs> fudge it a little bit and experiment with tea blending. So I don't think there's anything that I can do or ask anyone for, so... Okay. I'm just... Well, are you going to turn in an yeah. evergreen order? You could do two peppermint or your floral and one of your other ingredients. Mm-hmm. 
Um, if you want coins, or you could just sit and I, try to yeah. make deals, because that's what I did the first round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just loaded that's up true. on cards and was like, I think people want that. Yeah, I'll just wait. So this is going to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the pro tip, is like yeah. having a lot of cards, actually. Pinkies Thank up. Thank cards you. are a great resource. <laughs> yup, because people want them. Uh -huh. Oh, matcha. <laughs> mm. Misha's favorite. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I think. Do I want to spend all four? Go I think I'm gonna. It. Yeah, I think I'm gonna spend all five. I'm just gonna gamble. Go for it. And this is my Can first trick. Dig? And this is. Hmm. Oh. Three and so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, making sure that I'm under. Mm -hmm. Is that seven or under? And I'll do uh, four. <gasps> Oof! Perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, now it's time for me to fulfill. I am going to. <laughs> or do you? I don't. Yeah, I think. No, nah, there's no Ceylon on the board right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do the hard thing. And I'm just going to do... Ooh, you're green. Green and I'm actually gonna do something weird. So I could turn this in for an order. Mm hmm But I think I'm gonna do this for six coins instead, because it gives me a little bit and more flexibility. Get a lot of coins so you can get more ingredients later. Mm-hmm. And I don't quite I don't think I need the point right now. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, I do want to make someone force someone to walk away. So I'm gonna walk uh, this one out. Ooh. And pinkies up. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm low on funds, so I'm just getting one card. I think. I'll grab this one right here, and I'm I'm not gonna do any orders. I don't have enough. All right, and we'll have one of these matches can go. <gasps> that was very there's, mean. There's another one. <laughs> so there's mean. There's two of them. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> there's two chives. Someone now. walking away. Yes, and. Pinkies up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'll just take this a song. Oh. Oh. There's. <laughs> there it is. If you had just picked that one up, the next one would have been it. <laughs> Don't you love when that happens? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to sell anything. At the end of the day, probability is just yeah, probability. So I, just have, I have to get rid of one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be one of the chives because there's two of them. Black citron next. Pinkies Ooh. up. <laughs> um, okay. So, let's see. I think I am going to do one card, and I'm going to take this one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> People seem to have been needing it lately. <laughs> uh, um, oh, man. Don't think I can fulfill. Unless maybe you ask. For help. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Got 
quite the selection over here. <laughs> I've got this nice citrus for you. Yes, Callie, can I have your citrus? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh my, where's that going? Thank you. <laughs> I'll turn in the Ceylon and the citrus for the... Black, black citron? Yeah. For the point or for the coins? I'll do... Ooh. I'll take the coins <laughs> for right now. The, yeah. the liquidity? Yes. <laughs> Low on fun. Four coins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And is that the last thing you're going to do on this turn? Um, yes. Yeah. Pinky's up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, sure, why not? Campbell. It's gambling time. <laughs> oh, spending five. Spending huh? five. I'm going to take the save on. I'm going to take the spice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. That's all oh, I no. can take. Oh no, I made another mistake. <gasps> Except I'm going to eat it because I should know better. <laughs> but I can't take, you can't it's a hard seven. Cards. You can never take one You can never go seven. over and then discard down Because there's anything. only so much room in your tea shop. Okay. <laughs> we got little tiny tea stands. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I can make this work, I think. Other dealer of spice. Would you like it? Would you make it flow, please? <laughs> yes. Here you go. Thank you. It's your favorite token. Um, I'm going to do Earl of Catnip. I'm going to say Earl of Catnip. It was Chai. Assam. Ceylon. Spice. Spice. Baby. Ooh. Uh, and I will take the three points. Mm -hmm. So I can get... Up in the running here. <laughs> All right, so thank you for the assist. I am also going to do. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's One fill, more. Yeah, let's oh, it does this. immediately come out. Okay, yeah, it okay. immediately comes out. <sighs> and I'm going to do matcha. Why not? Oh. <laughs> For prestige. Nice. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to get the one that I was wanting earlier. And that's it. I shouldn't have gotten Pinkies rid up. of that matcha. <laughs> now I wanted it. <laughs> okay, I... So now we got five, yeah. three, three, five, Two. one. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to just get one card, but is there anything that will help me more? <laughs> no. These are, ingredients are not much use right now, but that's all right. I'll just grab this one, mm -hmm. and then I'll go ahead and... Fulfill these as an evergreen for three coins. Nice. Get a little bit of cash. Yeah, I just need the cash. And then, and then uh, we'll have one of the sleepy time. Go it comes out. It's not sleepy time Oh, yet. hey. <laughs> oh. It's the title of the oh. game. <laughs> Frozen. It's prosperity. And the ingredients I just got rid of. Pinky's up. <laughs> okay, sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, We're literally both of them. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. Does anyone have citrus now? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I won't sell anything. Okay. So... Who's getting impatient? <laughs> <laughs> mm, let's do this one. A sleepy time again. They're just too tired. Got to got to spice it up in here. Yeah. No, I could do that one. Okay, baby is up. 
now uh, someone else can. <laughs> I will spend three to get three cards. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. There's a lot. Yes, there is. I'm going to just see what's over here. Oh, oh great. <laughs> One, two. Oh. One more. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping two, that there would be... Six, se- ah, you're at seven now. Two, oh, four, that's all you can six, grab. seven. Mm. You're done. Although you are learning, so if you wanted to take that move back, we could walk it back. So if you can only have seven, what, ha- what would happen? I stop it. You stop, like what I did. I just stopped collecting. Mm-hmm. If you're... It's like, if you've played this game a few times, <laughs> you've got to eat it. You know, you just, oh shoot, I ran out of space in my tea shop. But maybe he wants two cards. Yeah, but that's also not bad in Sentry yeah. and Yokoro, because you can, you have two sets that can actually turn it into three coins mm-hmm. right now. Hmm. So still not bad off. But for people's first games, I like to try to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you could turn them back in and get your money back and just grab one card instead. Mm-hmm. And I would just Whatever give it a little shuffle top. shuffle yeah. and make it fair for oh, everybody. Oh, there you go. You gonna take it? Um. Because again, it's not, it, it's not the worst thing in the world that happened to you right now. You still have some good, you have options in front of you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I were to take it and turn a set in I would just basically get three coins back. If you turn an identical set, yeah. So like these two peppermints, they haven't been doing anything most of the game. Mm -hmm. These two senchas. And that would immediately get you your three coins back that you just spent. (laughs) (laughs) And they're Mm. only one star each, so yeah. Yeah, it's a good deal. See, everybody's helping. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful in the tea community. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but also, again, learning game. Mm-hmm. Like the, especially if I'm teaching like bigger Euro games, I always try to like oh, help yeah, people the big a bit. Game. Okay, okay I'll, I guess I'll turn it in. <laughs> yeah, they've been hanging out for too long. Yeah. Well, you can only do one evergreen order. So oh. the two peppermints. Okay, so this is worth three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be your smarter move right now. Okay, well, that's based on the board right mm-hmm. now. You never know, it could change though. Yeah. <laughs> and then something has to go. Mm hmm. Um, if you don't do anything else, but it looks like you don't want to do yeah, anything else right now. I don't think I can do anything else. <laughs> well, you can, but you would potentially be giving somebody a point that doesn't need a point. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I have the Ceylon, so I could give it to you so that you can fulfill that correct. if you wanted to. What I'm also gently encouraging people to do is, like, you could be proactive in your deal making. And mm-hmm. be like, hey, you. Hmm. I got what you need. <laughs> and for all the times that we've played this, that's been the most interesting game. When people Alicia, get comfortable with it. Can I have your Ceylon? Yes, you can. Oh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. There it is. Hey. Would you like money or Wish. points? Oh, I'll take the money. For All right. sure. So four coins. <laughs> and now you've got options. <laughs> Pinky's up. All right. Pinky's <laughs> up. That's how we roll. Okay, so uh, I don't have a lot, and I only have one coin, so I can either take a card or do marketing. And I mean, yes, Alicia would be getting points, but I've got more money now. Yes, you do. <laughs> so now you can get a whole bunch of cards next year. Yeah, you do have quite a lot of money. Hmm. There's okay. nothing to worry about over here. <laughs> just, just look the other way, it's fine. Yeah, yeah nothing to worry about. <laughs> I am... I will do marketing instead. So oh. I'm going to take two coins. I have some more cards next turn. 
and uh, one of these orders is going to walk away. And I'm going to make that uh, Lord Percival. The first T that I ever helped design. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a card we haven't so seen. Not, I'm in my fulfillment phase. Um, look at anybody else has got. Not too much. <laughs> yeah. Nope, so I'm going to pass. So this turn is kind of a bust for me. My, but my last turn was a big one, so mm -hmm. I shouldn't mm -hmm. be too upset. <laughs> um... And I'm going to go ahead and throw away this one that I've been working on the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speed up the clock never, a little bit. Never make it so happen. So now you know we've only got two cards left in this deck, and this game is over when one of these decks is empty. Oh. So. Okay. Pinky's up. Thank you. Boop. I'm going to go for three cards. I'm going to see what happens here. <laughs> One. Yes. Oh, two. wow. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and grab this one. Three. Mm. Okay. And now I'm going to fulfill with along with my favorite token. Mm -hmm. The catnip chai. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, I got the cards <laughs> that I needed. Do you want the go. money or the points? Points. Oh, point. So now you're at, now you are three, four, five, six. Now you're in tied for the six. lead. All With right. six. So we got six over here. Three, four, five, <laughs> six over there. One. One over here. And then five over here. Pink is up. Pink is up. Good get. Okay. That was <laughs> such a good card. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh, you had a couple of the ingredients too. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. go that order. Like, <laughs> no. Someone got to it first. <laughs> okay. Um, I wouldn't be able to fill an order this time. So I'm in floral. Nothing. So I'm just going to take this. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, boy. It's been hiding at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And this, wow. this gets into an important thing to go over that we didn't go over on camera, but when you start your sourcing phase, you have to commit your budget before you start taking <laughs> yeah. cards. For this reason. You can't mm -hmm. be like, oh shoot, maybe I should spend three. No. <laughs> you you yeah, said you were spending one. zero. Yeah, we've never done that oh. though, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to turn these in for four dollars. Mm. Right? That's four. Uh, two identical ones is three. But there are two stars. Um, if it's three cards, so if you turn in oh. three cards of the same suit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Then you get stars for coins. But two cards for three coins is still, like, pretty efficient. Dang it. <laughs> but then I'll only have one card. Mm. You can also pass. Yeah, I guess I'll just pass. Then. Okay. But I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh-oh. Oh. Running that clock down. Oh. So if you do this, the game will get to me and then it will end. That's so. It. That's no the more, that's the pro tip. No more turns for you. But if you do one of these, the game will most likely continue unless somebody Maybe, yeah. gets rid of that card. I don't want the Ula card to be out. <laughs> hmm. And you are tied. Um, so I think it would be hard to fulfill that. Yeah. Based on what's available right now. But would you still, so would you still like to trash this card? This, this will be the last round. Yes. Great. So card goes away. All right, everybody. No. These two are taking turns and that's it. <laughs> the token. Oh, yeah. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. <laughs> Can't forget. Um, well, I guess I might as well just get four cards then. I'll get one back. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, let's see. Sentra. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I can fulfill something. Mm. 
possibly multiple. Now, also, important thing to point <laughs> out, uh, the oolong can be used as a wild green or black ingredient as well. Oh, that's great. Ooh. Well, I'll go ahead and take that. So take, yeah, take, take the oolong card. Yeah, yeah it's a good card. <laughs> so that's one card. As much as I would love to have it on my turn. No. I'll take this citrus. Not likely. Mm -hmm. So that is two. Um, three. Mm -hmm. And four or five I think six, seven. Huh? So, that's, yeah. so you're at seven right now yeah. okay which is fine because you yeah. yeah you picked up an oolong mm -hmm. so then I'll turn in so two senchas and a floral nice for this one and I'll take the points jasmine dragon excellent choice <laughs> and relaxation comes out mm -hmm. um And this can be used as a wild? Yes. For green, green and black only. Green and black. Okay, green and black. Green and black. And so also, just like any other ingredient, if you turn these two in, that's six coins. Mm. So I could do these two and the citrus to get the real gray correct mm -hmm. okay yeah not bad two points and then two points for you that brings it to five and pinkies up mm -hmm. all right the last turn of the game <laughs> well y'all got me on the ropes now mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there anything I can pull from thin air? The best I can do is tie. Yep, I think that's the best I can do. So I'm going to do a peppermint. And I'm going to turn these two in for three coins as an evergreen order. And then I'm just going to make it easy to count later. So three, five. And it uh, doesn't matter what I do because someone's going to walk away anyway. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pinkies up. End of the game. All right. So... Uh, let's count up everybody's points. All right. Should we move all this out of the way? Yeah, okay. sure. Let's. That way the camera can see what's yeah. going on here in the middle. It is a very close game. Mm -hmm. There is a winner because there is a tiebreaker. I figured. <laughs> okay. So we'll start with the first player. Tally up. First okay. player score. Okay. I prestige two orders. Yep. Three. And three. And then... My How catnip much? chai and my Mary Berry mor Morning, and I have one coin left over. Great. So we got six prestige, no prestige from coins, and no pr no favor tokens. Yep. Okay. Next player. We got four over here. And two tokens. Five, six. And then over here. A pretty big turn. Oh. Pretty big final turn. Yeah. <laughs> I have Holiday, Cheer, Jasmine, Dragon, and Earl Grey mm -hmm. for five. And then and three then coins. Three coins. And then I have uh, Chai and Matcha for five prestige. And then I have six coins. So one prestige for every five coins that gets me six so we have a three-way tie <laughs> but there is a tiebreaker okay so tiebreaker is first up raw prestige whoever played the game most efficiently which already that would be Callie. if there was still a tie it would be whoever has the most favor tokens mm. because cooperation is the name of the game yeah um and if there was still a tie congratulations you just tied Money doesn't <laughs> money doesn't break ties at the end of the game. But if you have leftover money it can give you a little bit of an edge. Yep. Yeah. 
So Callie is the winner. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> the best! <laughs> That's it, everybody. That's prosperity. <laughs> Well, I have played before. So. <laughs> Fair. An, an advantage. <laughs> yeah, some advantage there. Thank yeah. you for showing us the game, Avon. Not and a problem. Thank you, Alicia and Caleb, for joining us for your first playthrough of Prosperity. Uh, what was your favorite part of the game, Alicia? Favorite part? Um, I like the helping aspect of it, like that you get a favor token for that. Mm hmm I, I really like games that encourage like cooperation, even if they are competitive. Cool. Right. Yeah, that was a very important part yeah. for me to include in the game. Mm -hmm. um, especially given like I worked as a barista for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that you learn when you work in a, a, a neighborhood is like everybody knows each other from all the cafes. <laughs> <laughs> especially the indie ones. They're like, help each other out. Mm. I liked being able to pick up supplies and then turn it in for <laughs> actual tea. It was, it was fun. I really enjoyed the aspect of like picking things up and there being a surprise like, oh, I needed that ingredient <laughs> and then somebody else took it from you. <laughs> Very The satisfaction of turning yeah. things in. And, and then you could also stuff. sabotage somebody's play and get rid of a, a card that they mm -hmm. needed to be able to fulfill an order. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, casually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't mind me over here, just, you know, gonna no. get rid of this card. <laughs> Several things I love about <laughs> prosperity. One, the theme, because love um, big tea drinker, love tea and all of that, and the, the component quality is so great. And what Alicia and Caleb mentioned about the gameplay is great, as well as um, just the the fact that it's, as you're watching this, there's so many times where we're laughing and just having a good time, which is always the mark of this, for this style of game. That's going to be yeah. a, a great marker uh, that it's a great game. Yeah. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, everybody. Um, any other questions, I guess, while we're here Ooh. talking to the peoples? Ask me anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there, so there's something coming up on the horizon for this game? Uh, yeah, so the metal coins, a uh, couple of things. Um, once we finish fulfilling Kickstarter orders, because we want to make sure everybody gets their stuff, um, we will be selling the metal coins on the website for $15 uh, for a set. And that's a full replacement set. And um, if I may ramble on about a couple of things I like about the design. Yeah, go for um, it. Yeah. I'm all about accessible design. Um, that's kind of like a hallmark of all the games that both I've made for myself and I've worked on for clients. And uh, the coins are all designed with a unique shape. So even if someone is visually impaired or if you've, even if they're not blind, maybe they just have, they don't want to wear like giant prescription glasses when they're at the <laughs> table. Um, mm -hmm. They're all different mm -hmm. shapes. So you can always tell which one is the one, which one is the three, which one is the five. That's why they're not dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. And which one is the favor token because they all have unique shapes. Yeah. Um, and that's something that's very important to me every time I sit down and do a component. They're also slightly different, like, shininess, it feels. Maybe that's just because of the color, but... Part of that is just the anodized. Yeah. So the aluminum, um, you know, aluminum is a metal, but it's not, like, it's, it's a soft metal. Mm -hmm. So they're all going to wear a little differently, ah. which over time is going to give them each, like, their own little bit of character. They're kind of unique, yeah. Mm -hmm. Character, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also the anodization process is not, like, it's not super perfect. Um but it's going to be close. Like, you're not going to notice a difference unless you're, like... It matches the theme of your game because of the artisanal factor yeah. to it and the, the craft that you take with, the, nice. with and care with everything. Yeah, yeah. totally makes sense. Uh, and the box, too, you have the sort of um, sort of paper, butcher paper feel of the, yeah. the cover background. That's so nice. Yeah, that's a lot of inspired... Um, same design aesthetic or similar design aesthetic as Cantankerous Cats, mm -hmm. but... I really just like went elbow deep into mm -hmm. oh what was packaging like in the turn of the century like 19th mm -hmm. century mm -hmm. I have to specify now because we're at the turn of another century <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah the 1900s um, that really simple but elegant packaging is something that I really wanted to like uh, capture because uh, this is what a lot of tea uh, manufacturing and stuff was done like for a very long time uh, so the, this was a Kickstarter game that's going back to Kickstarter? No, this is uh, this is not going back to Kickstarter. This is now for sale. 
Um, can you get it? Like you can it. get it at prosperitygame.com, so the website. Or you can go to mentadesigns.com, which is our website. Um, There's one expansion to it? One ex or one what is, ex bonus? What is it? Correct. That was the next thing we can get to. So there is the... Um, for Kickstarter, uh, because we love Halloween, um, which is coming up again, uh, there is... We gave everybody for free um, an expansion that connects Prosperity and Cantankerous Cats, which is the previous game. So there is a new character. Um, oh boy, I don't have it prepped, but it's sitting right over there. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, our handy dandy cameraman will go right. for it. Um, so it's a new character. Uh, their name is Nikki M. Demas. Thank you. And um, their uh, little Easter egg that we gave everybody that backed the game. And it will be available for $5 on the website as well. Uh, but this is a completely new character. has a bunch of new order cards in it. Um, this is their token. Aww, thank <laughs> you. And Nikki is our, like me, officially non-binary uh, cat in Cantankerous Cats. Um, there we are. Yes, so cute. And uh, the story with Nikki is that they are a Kate-she from uh, Scottish and Irish lore. So they steal hearts and souls. <laughs> oh, how sweet. <laughs> so in prosperity, they steal ingredients. You can send Nikki to somebody else's, uh, you can send Nikki to somebody else's tea shop, just straight out jack an ingredient and take it into your hand. Um, Wait, do they leave behind a favor token or they, no? They don't. Oh. Uh, but Nikki comes into your shop and everybody knows then that Nikki uh, okay. is your fault. Mm -hmm. So you take a minus one prestige at the end of the game if you're Ooh. still holding Nikki. Mm. But the person who you gave the token to, who Nikki's shop, uh, the person who Nikki raided, can then use Nikki on somebody else. Okay. So <laughs> Nikki is essentially a hot potato that gives <laughs> a little bit more, mm -hmm, gives a little bit more uh, interaction and brings a little bit more of the the. Uh, Playfully ferocious vibe of cantankerous cats. And timing when to end the game then. Oh. Yep. Uh, and they also connect with the pumpkin card. So this is an ingredient. Uh, it's a four star um, Tizan ingredient. So it completes the set essentially. Mm -hmm. And it can be used as any Tizan or flavor. And if this is on the table, then Nikki is now worth one prestige instead Ooh. of minus one prestige. Okay. Uh, but it has to be face up somewhere on the table. So I'm guessing now, because there's pumpkin as an ingredient, there might be some new flavors like pumpkin oh spice boy. tea. Oh <laughs> there sure are. So we got candy corn. Oh, cute. We have pumpkin spice. Yep, we have I knew it. cantankerous cat's mess, <laughs> which oh. is the holiday tea, uh, and spiced cider. Ooh, so, I could go for some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we have two Halloween and two Yuletide uh -huh. uh, flavored or themed ingredient that orders in the deck. Great. Pumpkin spice is the best. <laughs> so this is, is this is a cross like promotional type of an, like bonus. Correct. So you can't use it. In, I can't take risk cats though. Oh, you can. Um, it's a character. Yeah, Nikki has. So Nikki's this is their their character card uh, in Cantankerous Cats. Um, Nikki steals affection. So if anyone's familiar with that game, um, or the quick rundown is you're a cat, you live in a house, you pet human, you smother them with affection, which is your money for the game, essentially, and then you turn around and basically break as much stuff as you can without being thrown out. Um, first one to nine is the winner. Nikki's an advanced character. Uh, they introduce skills to Cantankerous Cats, which is something that we hope to introduce in future editions of Cantankerous Cats. Um, but their skills require two pounce tokens to use. So they're very expensive um, because you literally just straight out steal an affection card as it's being played. So very somebody, powerful. Yeah, somebody <laughs> plays an affection card, you're like, no, that's mine. <laughs> um, or when they're a feral cat, which is when they're kicked out of the house in the advanced game, they steal an entire house's worth of affection. Wow. It doesn't make the other player feral, but it does anger a lot of people at the table. <laughs> Um, so you're probably only going to be able to do that maybe once per game before everybody starts um, not being kind to you. <laughs> and so both games are available on the website? Uh, yes. Cantankerous Cats, we've got a uh, low supply right now, which is uh, something we'll get into in the future. We've got some really big announcements for that coming. Um, but Prosperity is fully in stock right now, uh, fully available. And the expansion is really at the moment for folks that 
either already own cantankerous cats because there's so many. Like we're we have what like over ten thousand in circulation at this point, so it's uh, or it's a good amount yeah. of content for <laughs> prosperity. And the, the co- yeah. Tokens, the coins, is that available as well? Yeah, the okay. coins are going to be available as well. Uh, probably by the end of the month is when we're hoping to finish Kickstarter and turn on um, the inventory for all the other bonus stuff that we have left over um, from our Kickstarter backers. Mm. And that's it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, great. <laughs> but Thanks so much for sharing. Not a problem. Thank you all for your support. Um, you all have been great to us ever since we started making games. So uh, always happy to show up. Always happy to be here. Oh, yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> oh. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, Avon, for showing us Prosperity and mm. a little bit of Cantaker's Cat and the other items you'll have available on your store soon yeah and you can check that out link will be in the description below as well while you're down there give this video a like and um, hit that subscribe and bell notification for more videos just like this and join us for our normal live streams on twitch now wednesdays and sundays at 6 30 p.m pacific time and oh, and don't forget to check out unfilteredgamer.com for blog reviews as well as giveaways where we might have some, some extra copies of things to give away soon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time.